How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a good day today. Today I'm going to show you guys a little quick fix on your photo editing uh, in the Affinity Photo um, Tone Mapping Persona. So let's hop right into that. So if you're ever having like a problem with a photo or image and you just want a really quick fix or you don't want to spend too much time on an image just for somebody or something real fast then head over to the Tone Mapping Persona which will be right up in this hand corner the fourth one in so you hit that and sometimes it takes a minute to load because it has to load the presets of the uh, tones or whatever so over here you will see the default um, it also comes with extreme crazy and the James Ritson customs I'm not sure what that is but I haven't bought any so I'm sure you get those too but if you scroll down here to the default ones You'll get a couple different like pre um, tones or whatever. So let's try this dramatic one right here. So if we click this one, um, as you can see, like changed our image up. As you can see, the uh, image has changed up a lot here from the original one just from clicking on the dramatic. So if you go to the right side of your screen, you'll see like um, some new features that you can play with, like your tone compression. Um, this one will just kind of like change like the vibrance of the, like the tone in like the default tone that you've selected. So if you go down like the less vibrant that tone map or whatever is going to be on there. So and then the contrast is pretty self-explanatory. It's just like regular contrast but in terms of the tone and how much that's going to be contrasting. And if you ever need to reset these back to zero, just hit this up in the right and that'll do it for you. So let's go to exposure. Um, that's pretty regular, uh, same as like the regular develop persona. Enhance, same thing right there, white balance, shadows and highlights are also the same. The only other thing that's different is going to be the detail refinement. And for this one, let's zoom in for you guys. So right now the radius is set at 50. So if we increase that or decrease that, um, you can kind of tell how there's a increase in um, the detail within the image. Hold up, let me change the local contrast back to this was at 30 and this was at 50 just there. Okay. So now that you can see that, we go to radius and if you go to zero, you can see how it's a little blurry in the image. Compared to 100, it's a little bit more detailed and now it is a little blurry because the pixels are trying to be super, super detailed. So just find a happy medium that doesn't look too bad. 50 looks good and then this will just do your amount of how much that detail will be impacting so if you go all the way up it does get a little messy depending on like the file that you've chosen for your image so make sure you find like a good happy medium like right there it looks pretty good so when we zoom out it's not gonna look like super shitty or whatever it's gonna look uh, nice and clean um, from afar, so that's what you want to do there. And you'll also have your, your uh, curves, which pretty regular. You can mess around with that, but I'm not going to do that for this one. One last thing I want to show you guys real quick is um, if you want, like, say, just a little part of the image to be changed, uh, you can come over here to your overlay paint tool, change your brush size. So, and we'll just color this this area in the orange. So basically, what this is gonna do is gonna only allow this area that's painted in red. That you see, it's a little hard to see on the orange. I probably should just color in the blue, but that's okay. Um, just make sure everything's colored in, and then like so. Then you can go right over here to your adjustments and you can play with them. So let's 
we really want to let's drop the saturation um so shadows highlights but yeah you get the gist and you can hit apply right here and let's wait for it it's kind of taking a second but yeah there it is that's how you make quick fixes in affinity photo with the tone mapping persona as you can see there's our image right there um you can get a little more refined with the that paint selection tool i was just kind of trying to do it for the sake of the video but yeah for sure there it is tone map persona is really easy really fast thank you guys for watching